computer. I hope so. Oh boy, we got a bunch of messages here. Mom. Uh, you read that one. Maxine, what the heck is going on with weather up there? Are there doing military tests or something? You're right in the eye of the storm. No comment. I've kept Lisa alive through all this. So we're still safe. Who's Lisa? Oh, plant. As long as you're around. Now back to the books. Talk to you soon. Kate! I'm just visiting me this week. I have some important things to talk about. Okay. Of course I'm still coming to visit you. You can't stop me. I miss you. And my bunny. We all miss you. And your bunny misses you. Yay, you're such a great friend. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you. Yes. Kate is high priority. Justin. What the? What the? Sorry, my phone was in my bag. Hey, Justin, you busy? Max Wax. I'm busy blazing. What up? You know Frank borrows drugs. That's it. Ask Nathan. He knows him, I think. Okay, I'm on it. Thanks, Justin. For what? <laughs> Alright. Uh, feel free to call me anytime. Hey, Julie, are you busy? No, no time to be busy. You never text me. What's going down? Besides everything, I was just curious if you ever heard of a guy named Frank who lives in the RV around town. You mean a van down by the river? I heard he's a sketch meth head. That's about it. Why, are you doing your own investigation without my help? No, just bored. Talk soon. Thanks. Okay, but you can't keep secrets from Ace Reporter Juliet Watson. Hello? <laughs> hey, Dad. Oh, boy. Okay, thanks, Pop. It's been a whirlwind here. I'm not ready to come home yet. Talk later. Hey, honey, I just got a weird text warning me that my nosy daughter better stop watching others and look out for herself. Is this some kind of school prank? And it's from a block number. Oh, I'm sorry. Some jackets in my class thought it would be funny to send. It's not. I don't like strangers having my number, okay? Me neither. Sorry. I'm just being a dad. I know this has been a tough week for you. It's almost over. I'll call you guys later. Love you. Courtney. Hey, girlfriend. Let me know when you want to come by my room and I'll give you a fashion makeover. Oh, thanks, Courtney. I'm swamped with homework now, but I'll check with you later. Thanks for the offer. All right. All right, all right. All right. All right, all right, Max. Hello. Hey, man. I suck again. Sorry I got in your face today and took my bullshit rage on my best friend. Okay. Yeah, we, we heard that one. Chloe, I understand you're going through a lot. We all are. Besides, I th threw your beanie out the window and busted out my rewind. Okay, that is... <laughs> that is what... Your one get out of emoji jail free card. But we need to stock up on six coffee and candy for an all-nighter. We have to get into Rachel and Kate detective mode. Excellent, dear Watson. I'll bring my thinking cap. No worries. I have a beanie. I'll swing by and pick you up. Sweet. I'll be ready. No, that was no emoji. All right. So Victoria texted us in that other reality. Dang. I missed it. Oh, well. I wonder what she said. She was probably wanting to be friends and I don't want to be friends with that person. Yeah, right? All these messages. Okay, we have a lot of reading to do. Uh. Okay, so I think we read up to this point. So I finally found out today what it was in David's secret files, and I admit I expected it to be worse. I'm relieved that I wasn't, so maybe I'm going easier on him than I should. No surprise that he had detailed files that Kate and Rachel listing their whereabouts along with surveillance pics. David isn't off my shit list yet, but he's a damn good investigator. I'll give him that. It's clear Frank and Rachel had some kind of relationship, and I don't think Chloe is going to be very happy to hear that. He needs to start waking up. We all do. When David come, came home, things escalated quickly. He looked more upset than usual, but shrugged when he saw me wearing Rachel's clothes. He was so on edge. Maybe I'll never get to see the David that Joyce loved so much. She and Chloe really let him have it, though. This was the first time I saw them bond since we were kids. Suddenly I couldn't take it anymore either and I kind of blew up. It was like a torrent that felt awesome. I've been waiting to rip into David like that myself for a long time. I figured worst case scenario, hello, hello rewind power. But I wanted Joyce to know the depth of his weird paranoia. 
She looked so sad and angry when I told her about the photos of Rachel and Kate, not to mention the home surveillance. Joyce kicked his ass out of the house to Chloe's glee. Despite David's evidence and the bracelet, Chloe refused to believe Rachel was involved with Frank. This is a part of Chloe I don't much like. She gets so damn petulant if she doesn't get her way. Or if she hears something she doesn't like. Serious denial. I get it. I get why, but that doesn't make dealing with it any easier. So I threw my hands up and suggested we check out Frank's RV. I knew that would piss Chloe off and she would do anything to find out what kind of relationship he had with Rachel. But first we had to get the damn keys to the RV, which meant going into the two whales diner and bouncing like a rewind pinball between Frank, Nathan Prescott and Officer Barry and fucking with all of them. I'm still dizzy thinking about how I pulled it off. Yay for Max, sometimes I feel like I'm just cheating at life. The first thing we had to do was get Frank's scary dog out of the RV. So we did the classic cartoon, give a dog a bone routine and Cujo became Scooby-Doo just like that. Frank's RV was pretty much what I expected, drug dealer trash cheek. But it wasn't as serial killer as I feared. We ransacked the place and found that Clary didn't want us to find. And I'm sorry Clary had to see the pictures of Rachel posing with Frank even if she did care about him. To her, it's just another betrayal, just another loved one dumping on her. Everybody ever she loved, she lost one way or another. Only I came back from the past, for what? Make Chloe's life more painful? I just wish I could use my rewind power to go all the way back to the days where we were covered in pancake flour. Life was simple. Let's never do the time warp again. I can't even begin to explain what happened. If I think too hard about the ramifications, my brain might melt. When I try to describe it, it's as if I'm describing something that happened to someone else. Chloe was so upset when we discovered that Rachel had actually been involved with Frank Bowers and she just blew up. I can never talk to her when she's like this, and I just get so tired of having to walk on eggshells around her emotions. She still blames William for her messed up life no matter how much she knows she's being unfair. I can't say that I won't, wouldn't be just as messed up, not that I'm not in my own way. In my room, all I could think was, I wish I could go back to the time and help Chloe, and suddenly I was looking at the photograph William had taken of us in the day he died, and it started pulsing like it was 3D, like I could see inside the photograph. Then I found myself actually back in the photo to when I was 13 years old, back in the Chloe's kitchen in the year 2008. With Chloe and William, right before he left to pick up Joyce for the last time, since my power somehow morphed to this new level of rewind, I decided that there's no way I was going to let William die again. So I played hide the keys until he had no choice, but no other choice option but to take the bus. And so have I actually saved William? I never thought about what could go wrong. I knew I screwed up when I came out of the epic rewind and saw Victoria chase. But now she was my friend, and I was a member of the Vortex Club, enough said. I knew I had screwed up, then I knew I knew that I had screwed up, and then I felt sick thinking about what might have changed with Chloe. I had a clue when I saw David Madsen driving the school bus. He sure didn't look so threatening anymore. I didn't want to know how he ended up as a bus driver instead of with Joyce. But my heart dropped when I rushed to Chloe's house. When William opened the door, I prepared myself for the worst. That's when Chloe rolled forward in her wheelchair, paralyzed from the neck down. I didn't even know what to say, so I covered my mouth in the typical gesture of shock and stupid. Chloe's smile was so genuine and beautiful, I almost cried. I had to adjust and do everything without freaking out or telling Chloe that I actually altered time and space to save her father, but get her in a car accident so she could never walk again. The thing is, she was still Chloe, just minus all the rage. This Chloe was just grateful to be alive and have her family watching over her. Chloe begged me to spend the night, and of course I did. I noticed how run down parts of her home were compared to before. I saw the incredible expensive equipment that Chloe now requires, including a new garage room. Sorry, David. Even though I felt awful and disconnected, Chloe was just so bubbly and excited to hang out with me again, especially since I flaked on her pretty hardcore after her accident. Even in an alternate universe, I'm a shitty friend. Chloe's world was so new and unique to me, especially her strength and kindness and pain. She needed a whole pharmacy to get through the day. I didn't feel sorry for her. I felt in awe with her attitude. The Chloe didn't blame anybody for her condition, even though she had the right. We strolled down the beach and saw the beach whales, and that proved something bad was happening in both realities. Gotta take a breather. <laughs> Dog was snoring. Oh, you heard it? Yep. Yeah, you've been a snoring making grunty noises and then Chloe asked me to put her to sleep 
The accident left her body pretty much broken. Her lungs stopped working properly and she was basically dying a slow, painful death. She also felt so guilty about her parents' sacrifice and dwindling income. She wasn't erratic or tortured about this request, just practical, which made me feel even more terrible for putting her in the situation. But there was no way I was going to help my best friend take her own life. I couldn't do it, especially after what happened with Kate. I knew I should have done whatever Chloe asked of me, considering I was responsible for her situation. But how could I inject her full of morphine and just watch her fade away? I know she was upset, but I just had to tell myself that this reality wasn't real. After my visit to Chloe's new world, I knew it was time to go max to the future. I, f I had to see the result of my temporal tampering and I got scared thinking my new power wouldn't even work anymore. That wouldn't have been cruel karma, or that wouldn't have been cruel karma. Fortunately, I was able to project myself to the photograph once again and I undid everything I had done. Goodbye William again. Hello David again. I've never been so glad to see Chloe in my life. The second I saw her blue hair and that beautiful pissed off face, I wanted to kiss her again. And I couldn't even tell her where I'd been or why. It would have been one more thing to alienate Chloe from me and the world. I had to get refocused on our search for Rachel. Chloe had been busy with her detective work while I was in my alternate timeline. Ooh, that was a lot of reading. Got a note. Looks like David already booked a room. We got a stool. We can sit on. We got a jar of mini. Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. Boop, 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 boop. Got another note. Ouch. David, do not be here when I get back from work. I mean it. Oof. Snap, snap. Oop. Those poor wheels are like beached angels. What is going on here? Pretty sure it's us fucking with the time, Max. I wonder if this game this is just about acceptance. With my vision of a tornado. Eco apocalypse. Well, Cody Babe was until now considered a. Oh, we read that. Lighting door. Ooh, let's go out back. William never finished painting that wall. Ba -ba -ba. Not seeing anything else. Really? That's it? I don't. Oh, here you go. Dead birds. Poor birds. I guess David wasn't in the mood to clean up. Dude, so many dead birds. Anything back here? What are you doing, Doro? It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell sure isn't safe and private anymore. Despite a rather heated discussion about the successful petition to block a campus surveillance system, I am still interested in your feedback on other methods of improving Blackwell security. We must find a middle ground because safety and privacy for our students. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that. I didn't need a surveillance camera to see the suspension coming. Best of luck to you, Miss Grant. Ouch. At least he has one weird fan. Dear Mr. Manson, I just wanted to let you know I think it's bullshit what happened to you and the school has too many libtard metrosexuals who don't appreciate you or the military. Felt safe in my dorm when you were in charge and I thought about you protecting me. I hope you will come back to Blackwell and make sure we're all safe again at night. I'm scared of the school. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. Apologies for my outburst yesterday in your office. What was this to? Oh, to the principal? I was upset about losing my position at Blackwell without a complete investigation of the facts and based solely on the claims of untrustworthy students. 
There's a cancer at Blackwell Academy, and without me, it will continue to spread. Oops. All right. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Yes. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. You know, I'm no good at explaining myself or why I act the way I do sometimes. I only know that nobody has ever understood me the way you do. I would never do anything to hurt you or Chloe. Taking care of my family is my number one mission. Yes, I overset balance with the surveillance and suspicion. And I'm truly sorry and ashamed, but there are dark things happening in Arcadia Bay I've never told you. You are my wife and partner, and I know we should have no secrets. I intended to tell you everything, but I wanted more proof. Instead of instead a student almost committed suicide on my watch, you kicked me out of my favorite home, and my stepdaughter hates me. Please let me. Alright. He might actually be a good source of information. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff too. Either Chloe stole another gun, or... David is out there armed. I should know his combo. What the because hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Thank you for your help with Nathan. It is appreciated. Oh God. I wonder if David is going to the party. No, oh, that she steps through it when you do that. That was bad. Oh, it stayed open. Neat. There's that board that we were carrying, I think. Oh, eggs! Oh, look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I I better move this plank if I want to take the. Excuse me. Just one picture, please. That can kill the birds. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. I'm gonna rewind that. Because oh Because I propped it up against that garage door and that could slam on it. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? 7171, right? Yeah, buddy. Yes, I knew that number would be important. Notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. You know something. Whoa. Yes, coordinates. Nathan beating up people. Hmm. Score. Back to Chloe now. Like, even his own garage with his family nearby, he's got some sketched out shit. Chloe! You got some stuff! It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. There's a sign on there. Love you, Mom. That's the same sign... ...that's in our dorm. Someone had that hung Yo, up. Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to Wonder my if that's dorm. significant. Are we happy? Or if it's just They're a reused happy. resource. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. 